How's it going guys, it's Mr Lone Wolf and uh, today we've got the uh, Top Gear truck darts here comes the dart board, a few pieces anyway by the way for anyone that says like the Khan's overpowered here is a completely stock loaf of bread going faster than it so <laughs> it's not as great as it looks that loaf of bread thing, that's a horse of a vehicle look at it climbs down here like it's nothing Tries to kill itself to rescue its mate, but it's back. Horse of a vehicle. Anyway, we'll get on with the uh, darts. I would like this to have joined in, but it's just far too slow. So anyway, there's our dartboard. We'll get a bit of a better look at her. This is obviously the jump we'll be launching off. So here she is, obviously red, that's the bullseye. We've got the outer bull or outer ring, whatever the fuck it was called, in green. And to be honest, the snow covered them all, but they were alternating <laughs> black and white cars around the edge. Tried to make a regulation, of course. Uh, we've also got the royal, that's the backboard, just in case we overcook it a bit. And then I also had a crane vehicle there, but to be honest, there is one problem I do have to say, is some of the cars a clip in where you don't hit them you go through them however I assure you by the end of this video this is OCD by the way the gaps weren't the same I had to move it um, yeah by the end of the video you're gonna see plenty of trucks crash hit each other hit the floor flip around you're gonna learn something about the Western style that will make it go up in your estimation a hell of a lot See, like, I was just about to leave with the Navistar and then my brain was like if you don't get a trailer I will not let you forget it so I stuck a trailer on her. Here come the darts. See, so you can see there, though, I was reversing out. They were clipping. I think it got a lot worse because I had so many vehicles, like, as the dartboard. <laughs> but that's never been said before. Um, and my darts, obviously. Like I say, this Western Star Twin Steer thing, you will uh, like this a hell of a lot. Not for its. Well, not necessarily, don't want to give anything away for its uh, dart abilities. So there they are. Ladies and gentlemen, pick your darts. You get three each. Even if you're playing on your own, pick three, I'll have the other three. Of course I couldn't resist. Like I say, I'd like to have uh, used this because it would have made a nice... nice fat flying truck through the air, but as you can see, it's painfully slow. I even tried putting the truck in neutral winch into the uh, ANK and seeing if the speed of the ANK could get me fast enough but it was having none of it. The ANK kept veering off to the right. <laughs> I love that horn. It's like therapy for people who don't need it or do need it but will never ever go. So anyway yeah, pick your darts. I'll start from left to right. We've got the Western Star Twin Steer. The Derry Longhorn 3194 I think. Uh, the Navistar MH5000. We've got the Tager with a uh, fuel tank on the back, so it's got a lot of juicy weight to it. We've got the ANK MK38, and then there's the Azov, I'm not sure the numbers, like 6139 possibly, but don't quote me on it. So uh, anyway, without further ado, I'm able to get stuck into it, we'll just have one quick look, show you, there's the dartboard, are ready to go. As I say, some of the cars are clipping, but... Well, let's be honest, we're all here to see trucks fly. Did the horn, I was like, Jesus Christ, that's bad. Don't even look at the P16 when you've got a horn like that. So uh, yeah, first up anyway, we're going to start from left to right. Hey, I've had a quick look at the interior. I'll cut out some of the runway. I just wanted to make sure that I had enough, enough length. That's what she said. Oh, okay, first ever dart. Well, while well, there's a dartboard there. Nailed. Do you know what? Because it's the first dart, I'm going to give that a 25. I'm treating it. That was not a bad start. I think that that would have definitely nailed the uh, the green loaf pretty well. Probably would have nailed the Khan as well. Anyway, dart number two. The ANK. Not even going to do the horn in the presence of that beast. Quick interior shot. I know we have seen some of these before, but just check in like that. Make sure I'm far enough away so it can't hear me. To be fair, the horn on this isn't that bad. But it's not great. So the ANK, what's she gonna get? 
Bullseye? Oh no, she starts doing Tokyo Drift on me. <laughs> Nailed the backboard. Unfortunately though, that is no points. So if you're back to the ANK, you're out of luck. You're out of luck this time anyway. The Tega, there it is, sitting on its uh, ass. My god, that horn gets even worse. I don't think I've ever tried that one before. I don't even look at it. You banned. Quick look inside, I don't think I've seen inside here either. Not too bad, pretty uh, basic, which does the job. Can't really see a lot of the back when that thing's in the way. It's definitely a lot uh, slower. I didn't think it'd be this slow. <laughs> I don't know what we're going to call that. Do you know what? I might call that 10 points. I think it might have just clipped that TUZ116 at the end. It's also sat pretty well on the can right now, so sod it. I'm giving it 10. Anyway, next start. Another star. Not even going to do the horn. Doesn't deserve it. We've all heard it before. Got the trailer as well, remember? Now, apart from looking in the interior, just to show you, I've got the window bars off and some side ones. There's a bed in there, just in case you want to have a wank mid-mission. But, um, yeah, half the reason why you'd want to drive the interior view on this is because I wasn't joking when I said that it kicks out a lot of smoke and you can't see where you're going. Especially when I'm trying to be very precise, because there's posts all along the edge of this runway that do not move. I had no idea right now, I just steered it right a bit and flung it. Hope for the best. Oh, I don't know what to call that. Do you know what? I'm going to call it a 10. I think that nailed the CK more than the loaf. Next start. That's a good horn. Gets a pass. You see with this one, we'll have a, well, a quick look at the interior, but it's it. <laughs> right, see you guys on the other side. It's about to happen, but then. I knew something wasn't right, I was coming along, I was like, this was slow, I'm sure this was a lot quicker yesterday, went to put it in high, had no high gear, slammed them anchors on, forgot to uh, put the daddy engine and the uh, chain ties, etc, but we've soon got that solved, here she goes, what's she going to get, what would you say that is, uh, to be honest, it's a close one, 25 or 50, but I think this time we're going to give it 25, it did stick in pretty nicely, this one has a tendency to hit the floor and just stick wherever it lands. Yeah, I think that's 25. That's not bad effort though, it was close. Last but not least, like I say, for those of you... I can understand. Decent horn gets past. I can understand why some of you won't like this, because it's rear wheel drive only. Pretty nice inside. And you can see out the back. Um, yeah, rear wheel drive only, it's pretty long, it sort of gets its belly stuck on stuff quite a lot, but as I say, in the next uh, 10 or 20 seconds, you're about to like this truck a whole lot more. <laughs> Some of you will probably be turning the game on afterwards and giving it a go. Not for its dart abilities, what happened? Hit the backboard. But it has a pretty repeatable tendency to bounce off its nose and pogo stick over, but it gets better. Look at that beast. She floats at the front and she drives at the back. Which means <laughs> you can go places a lot of other trucks can't go. Never mind needing an amphibious uh, TUZ420 Tatarin. We have an actual swimming truck. So I admit we are going to get sidetracked just for a moment from the darts. But as you can see, the front is very clearly off the ground by quite a way and uh, yeah the back sinks and of course it's rear wheel drive it's got the diff lock if you need it probably uh, I have I think I've got the high range boxing but if you put off road box you should get the three low gear options so I could go a bit faster with the diff lock on but yeah she is definitely swimming and to be honest it basically swims practically everywhere if it gets too deep so like you get into the point where you're at like a 45 degree angle then it doesn't it doesn't sink or anything it just doesn't really push you forward but you can see I've just gone past a shallow bit there and she's still going she's just adjusting the angle of her angle and look at that we are heading to this island I actually found this out yesterday while I was uh, messing around and uh, kind of when I discovered the truck darts idea but yeah I figured this out yesterday and I thought well 
<laughs> That's going to come in handy because there's a lot of places I'm pretty sure on certain maps like Smithville Dam. Oh, you know I'm going to go swimming around in Smithville Dam now. Always been wondering how to get there. And as you can see, I won't uh, show you like the island or anything, but she definitely made it there in water a hell of a lot deeper than any other truck's going to manage. So this might might be your new favourite truck. Anyway. Oh yeah. By the way, yesterday I uh, I started heading to that lighthouse. I got about halfway and it got too deep. So and then I just ran out of time. I started making the video. But I will be exploring further with that. Anyway, back to darts. So, well, that was the first game anyway. So we had the uh, Azov, 25 points. The ANK, no points. Tega, 10. Navasar, 25. The Derry, 25. And the Twin Steer got no points. But it did hop to the other island, so... It deserves credit. So, uh, I suppose second round, really. <laughs> there goes the Azov. Going to give that 10 points. I think that pretty solidly nailed the... Uh, International Lodestar, Paystar, whatever the hell it's called. Next up, this is in place of the ANK. So if you chose the ANK, this is now your second dart for round two. Uh, I think that pretty pretty well nailed the uh, green loaf. I'm going to give that 25 points. Here comes the Tega, got the fuel tank off it this time. <clears throat> Overcooked it though. Hit the backboard, no points. She flew well though without the uh, fuel thing midget bob so the derry's back just gonna try and go look at this it actually is like the one bit of footage game that you had to glitch but i'm giving it 50 i'm sorry but I'll, don't worry further footage is available i'm giving it 50 for that i think it nailed the uh the yar would have definitely hit it on that one there's a twin star attempt number two Fluffed it again, but we nailed the uh, Royal pretty damn nicely. To be honest, this was one of the only times that it actually did its pogo flip thing and it landed on its side. And she don't float that time. Also, the horn doesn't work for some reason when the engine's off. That's why I... Uh, this thing was floating mid-air. Once you go far enough away from a truck, it freezes where it is, which makes sense because you don't want it to start rolling off down a hill when you leave. Like, I'm driving inside because, yeah, I can't bloody see anything when I'm going down here, and then it goes all Tokyo Drift on me. Major fail on that one. That did not go well at all. To be fair, it did flip itself. But you can see it's clipping now in that Dan. I think it's because there's such a pool of cars. But I, I took it for run number two. I wasn't happy with that. I'd say that is a solid 25, but I don't think it quite gets the 50. So that was round two, and at this point, I decided, you know what, I'll start clearing the cards away. We'll put some trucks down there. This is, by the way, why <laughs> I didn't use this, because I knew it would just dribble off the cliff, and that's it. It would have been nice. Many crunches would have happened. But yeah, I'm going to start parking some trucks down there. I even checked to make sure they actually hit each other. I have to say, some of them, one or two, do clip again, but they're a lot better at hitting. You've already seen some hit each other and the uh, the Royal and that. But yeah, stuck some trucks down here, what we got the Tega. I'd say Darts game is over, this is just for the fun of it. <laughs> I nailed that trailer pretty well, but I missed the trucks. I have no idea how I'm ever going to get those trailers back from down there, but we'll worry about that later. The ANK nearly hit that post. She flew true, unfortunately. Very disappointed with that. It clipped. That would have absolutely nailed the White Star. Here comes Derry. Oh, do you know what I was like? I like the Derry, it's a big fat chunky truck. So, I wasn't quite satisfied. Had to, uh, I think I moved the Royal a bit, a bit nearer. Or the Azov. And then what happened? I believe it started clipping. Let's try again. That's definitely clipping. But this time it clipped through that trailer earlier, this time it rolls into the trailer and it's not. If there was any rhyme or reason to it, I would have worked it out and got around it, but I can promise you it just makes it up as it goes along. Western Star was going for it again. See, look at it, it lands. She sinks, but... Oh yes, she's back. Look at it just peeping out the water, that's all it needs. Once you get them snorkels on it, she goes everywhere. To be honest, it just sits like 
with its stock uh, air intakes, it just every now and then takes a bit of damage. That's why windscreen wipers would be nice, but we'll live. We'll stick to the uh, exterior view. And again, I won't leave it long, but she got there. Azov. What a fail. I really wanted to hit um, this Royal. Really, really wanted to hit this Royal, so we're back. Failed again, but then now when it lands on it, it doesn't clip. So at this point, I was like, well, now I'm not giving up until I hit the bloody thing. If they're actually, look at that. <laughs> Didn't even let it hit the floor before I was trying to bloody recover. I'm not giving up until that Royal gets nailed. Bloody overcook it this time. What are the chances? My game? I, I'm more stubborn. <laughs> Fail. Oh yeah, no. Well, I sat on it, but I'm not happy. So I think at some point I took the seismic thingy off, put a flatbed on, slowed down a little bit because I didn't want to overcook it. Oh yes, nailed. I think I've actually stuck it in the ground a bit. That's how we like it. So I slowed down with this a little bit as well. Oh, I don't know. Don't know if that clipped or not, it might have, but either way it wouldn't have been a very good shot. I think I hit the trailer though, definitely sitting on that. We're back. Couldn't let that be the last go. Definitely nailed the trailer on that one. And like I say, surprisingly repeatable. I thought when I did it yesterday, oh, that, that'll never happen again. But it does. And again, won't, uh, bore you with the details but she got there and you can't you can't knock it for trying Navistar again oh god Tokyo Drift and I hit the post and a complete fail which that was it for that one I then went and got this by the way I just left this in quickly if you haven't got this you need to get it because it's one of the most fun scouts I've had I've only bought it the other day tried it for the first time and yeah I love it. it uh, for one, it does drift very nicely. You've also got like, it carries repair points, or it can have a different bigger cab on the back, and it carries like 400 repair points, which are more than a maintenance trailer. And as you can see, it gets motoring along compared to like the Hummer. This thing blow the Hummer out of the water. So, one quick flying lesson, and this is about it. To be honest, I'm glad this was the uh, last one because I actually finally managed to break the game in some small way. I don't know what's got a hold of me, like a pretty aggressive sea worm or something, but... The sea wants me. It ain't letting go. Look at it. Like, Jesus Christ, what's got me? Like the Kraken or something. And I'm telling you, it was not wanting to give me this truck back. I'm assuming, I'm assuming I managed to smash a wheel through the map got the derry out. See, as soon as I chose the derry, then it glitches through the trailer. Like, it really did just invent it as it goes along. But the derry, one thing it can definitely do is pull with some decent force, and uh, even the derry. I was trying to rip her out, but whatever it is, she wants it. She wants it more than the derry. Even tried this way, tried to do it properly going forward, even though reverse, to be honest. It does pull pretty damn nicely, but yeah, as you can see, Is, uh, is not having it. So that's it for the International Lodestar, whatever it's called. She belongs to the sea now. Fortunately, to be honest, I, uh, I switched to the whatever it's called <laughs> International Lodestar and she popped out. But yeah, I'll, I'm going to do a separate video on this, so I won't give much away, but you look at it, even as I'm accelerating out of here with a damaged engine and a burst wheel, creating a bow wave it's going so quick. Anyway, that's it for today. Hope you've enjoyed Top Gear Truck Darts. I appreciate you watching, and I'll be back soon. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. When you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand.